How to install Oxygen OS 10 Holy Build on your Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Oxygen OS 10 Holy Edition on your Xiaomi Poco F1. As you can see, I do have the Poco F1 running MIUI 11.0.6.0 based on Android 10. What are the prerequisites for this video? The prerequisites for this video are you need to have an unlocked bootloader, then you need to have Twerp Recovery installed. The version of Twerp Recovery which I'm using in this video is linked in the description of the video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Also, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important on your device because if your device is encrypted then you will have to do a format data if your device is not encrypted or your device is decrypted then you will not have to do a format data other than that do note that this build is rooted out of the box which means all you need to do is download and install the magix manager apk which is linked in the description of this video and you should have root access as for the change log what is working what is not working all of those things can also be found in the pinned comment what are the files which we need all the files which we need are also linked in the pinned comment and these are the files which you need so you need a kernel file which is named touch a next thing you need is android 10 firmware we are going to use firmware from 11.6.0 however if and when new builds come out then you might need a different firmware updated link will be in the description then you need the system zip file for oxygen os 10 from oneplus 6 and the vendor zip file from oxygen os 10 from oneplus 6 next thing we can go into settings and we'll go into password and security and privacy as you can see for encryption and credentials it tells me that my phone is not encrypted which means i will not have to do a format data if your device is encrypted then you will have to do a format data at the end of the process and do note a format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important on your device so as i mentioned earlier Make sure you have a backup of all those things in case your device is encrypted. Next thing we need to do is we'll go into settings, password and security and remove your password, fingerprint unlock and face unlock. Once that is done, you'll go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once that is done, you'll go back, go into me account and remove your me account as well. Once you have removed all the accounts, security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We are removing all the accounts and security measures because we're going from MIUI to Oxygen OS 10 and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. Next thing, we'll need to boot into Twerp Recovery. For that, the first thing you need to do is turn your device off and once you've turned your device off, you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the Twerp Recovery boot logo. Once we are in Twerp Recovery, we'll go into Wipe, Advanced Wipe, and select Dalvik Cache System Vendor and Data. And if you ask me that you're not getting the option for Vendor, well, that is because you're not using the Twerp, which is linked in the description of the video. So again, make sure you use the Twerp, which is linked in the description of this video. And once you've selected the partitions, swipe to Wipe. Once that is done, click on the Home button, go into Install. And now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files. In case you downloaded the files on your phone directly, they will be in the download folder. In my case, I have created a separate folder called Holy. Inside this, we have all the files. The first file which we need to select is the firmware. Select the file, add more zips. Next file you need to select is the vendor, add more zips. Next file you need to select is the system, add more zips. And then the last file which you need to select is the kernel. In this case, OOSQ touch, select the file. Once you've selected all the four files, swipe to confirm flash. Have some patience because the process is going to take some time. Once all the files are flashed successfully, click on the home button. And now if your device was encrypted, then you will go into wipe, format data, type in yes, and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard. As mentioned in this video earlier, format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device make sure you have a backup of all those things in my case my device is not encrypted or it is decrypted next thing we'll go into reboot and select system and there it is we have the oxygen os boot animation on our poco f1 and the developer does suggest that 
if you are stuck on the boot animation for three or four minutes then what you need to do is perform a force reboot what is a force reboot a force reboot is wherein while you're at the boot animation you just press and hold the power button till your device reboots we'll wait for some time and then you're going to perform a force reboot so we have been waiting for some time now let's now press and hold power button till the device reboots this is what is known as a force reboot and after that we will be back on the oxygen os boot animation on our poco f1 so there it is you can see that our device rebooted and at that point we let go of the power button and now pretty soon we'll have the oxygen os 10 boot animation back on our poco f1 and hopefully this time around we are going to boot into oxygen os 10 holy edition on our poco f1 and bam there it is we are on the initial setup screen of oxygen os let me skip the initial setup real quick do note that face unlock using the normal camera does work on this build and if you want you can set it up during the initial setup i just prefer to set it up later on once i have confirmed that everything is working smoothly and we do need to allow oneplus launcher access to our photos and media and we can now go into settings and about phone and bam there it is we are running the holy edition of oxygen os 10 based on android 10 from the oneplus 6 on our poco f1 next thing i suggest you do is you can go into the files application click on the three dot menu on the top right select show internal storage three bar menu on the top left select your device's name in this case one plus six and you can again go to the folder where you downloaded all the files in my case holy and here we do have the camera apk from one plus six which you can install and of course i will have a link to the google camera apk which is working on this build in the description of this video as well so there it is one plus camera was installed and it does work absolutely fine you do have the india net style application this is to put your phone into silent mode however it does require root access so i do suggest that you install the magisk manager apk which is again linked in the description of the video and if cts profile fails for you do note that is an issue which showed up pretty recently something google changed in the back end so it is failing across all devices which are rooted and which are running custom roms at the time of recording this video there is not a fix for it if and when a fix is available it will be linked in the pinned comment so that is another reason why you would want to read the pinned comment another thing if you ever face lags then you will have to enable developer options and then you will have to disable hardware overlays how do you do that well you can go into settings about phone and then you can tap on the build number a few times we are now a developer we will go back go into system and look for developer options here is developer options and here we need to look for the option called disable hardware overlays so this is the option we are looking for disable hardware overlays and once you've done that you will have to do it every time your device reboots but you only do it if you're facing animation lags if you're not facing any lags in animation then don't do it and of course in case you want to set up your face unlock you'll go into settings and then you can go into security and lock screen enter your screen lock using a pin and then you can start setting up face unlock as i mentioned earlier works like a boss super fine super smooth super fast and before you ask me when will poco f1 get ir face unlock on android 10 based roms we do not have an answer for that maybe we will never get it but something is better than nothing so there it is peeps that is how you install the holy edition of oxygen os 10 based on android 10 from the oneplus 6 on your poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you